presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 208, NASDAQ off 146, SP's down 41. Gold, gold contract down $23, trading at $16.32 an ounce. We have silver down 24 cents, $18.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.28. $85.10 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 29 ticks, 110 flat. The 30 off a full point, plus 22 ticks at 122.28 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 847 ticks, trading 112.976. The Euro's at 97. The Yen is trading at 149.89. And the British Pound is at 112 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. If it's a call, folks, one that's going on in your world, in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a pullback and you get a huge contraction of volume. So that's telling me that we're still going to go higher price, man. That's how it shakes out. You take a look at this. You, you know, you're down four bucks right now on the SPY. You get 56 million shares traded. Went higher yesterday with 97. Bigger yet, though, you're coming into the 147. Now, the 147 is 167.51. And what I'd like to see out here today is that the SPY closes over that. Because, you know, if, if it starts digging into that bar, you get a whole different flavor coming. But my take, you're pulling back, tremendously light of volume. That's saying that we still want higher price. NDX 100, same type of setup. What we have, what we have in the three Qs right now, you have the three Qs. They're trading 41 million shares. Yesterday went higher with 69 million. You're going into 77 million as well as uh, 112 million. Now, the 112 million, that price, and we, I'd want to see this get a little bit higher coming into the close, the price, 270.17. And right now, we're at 269.58. We go to the uh, gold contract. What do you have with gold? Bottom line, gold. Gold's going lower. You have a contraction of volume, but the bottom line, price is not holding. And that's all about the dollar. Um, you have, you're going to see this, okay, we got 1.6 million, no, you got 100, 168,000, sorry about that, Go, and it going into 200, I believe, this, we came off the lows, yeah, 280, <sighs> the low, the low there is 1622, we hit 1632, and there's no reason it can't hit 1622, um, and it's, it's so close that you could get an ABC down too. So we're gonna have to really watch this coming into the close because it's down 168,000. If you do 183,000, guess what? You get an ABC down and that would take you, that would blow out that low. Let me see, 1738. Yeah, it's almost a 90 A to B. That would get you down into the uh, 1590 uh, area. Oh, I see, interesting. Oh. Yeah, that's not that bad, actually, because the low is 1622. 
Notes and bonds. We go take a look at that note and bond market. Bottom line, when you take a look at this, you know, that that baby, you know, is going is on a one-way route. That's the real bottom line. Netflix, NFLX, okay, bottom line is that, you know, come out with the numbers, good numbers. Uh, Netflix, uh, to answer a couple of the questions out here, is in an ABC up. It's, it's a confirmed ABC structure up. You took out the B point, you took it out with volume, you pull this up, you're gonna see it's a clean ABC. This is not only a clean ABC, what's really cool about this ABC is that it's an ABC after consolidation. So you get an ABC after consolidation, you really can get some juice going. Uh, the price projection on this is 294, and right now you're at 270. Let's pull this up back a little bit. And let me see what's at 294. And well, the top of that. No, it's not quite the top of it. It's got a lot of work to do, but hey, it's an ABC up to 294. That's that's a start. That's the real bottom. That's a start and and the aspect of uh, you know where we could see this baby going. Some of the high volume higher volume equities. There we go. In this market out here today, and it's going to be a low volume market out here today. We have um, Advanced Micro is down 87 cents. You got uh, Nvidia flat. Four, uh, where is Netflix? Netflix uh, we've never we've done Netflix. Bank of America is down a buck. You have uh, Transocean up 23 cents. United Airlines, that's up two dollars as they're you know ripping us off left and right. Um, Comcast is down 24 cents. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. We take a look at that, and what you have point wise is this. There you go. Point-wise, as you have travelers putting 42 positive points, uh, Chevron 39, Big Mac 10, taken away from it. Home Depot, minus 66. You got Amgen, minus 26. You get Goldman, minus uh, 23. Yeah, you know, and if you go over uh, and we take a look at Genrax getting smoked out here today, and that, what that's all about is that uh, the bottom line is that they... Uh, has way too much inventory, not even close, way too much inventory, um, stocks down about 20%, and uh, they, I suspect they're gonna, they're gonna be going lower because uh, guess what, there's less houses being, being built. Um, I'm still buying Genrax, but after reading this article out here, it's gonna be pretty cool because we're gonna be doing some negotiations, that's for sure. Um, they, they're beautiful machines, by the way, folks, okay? The bottom line is that, you know, we, we use them and pff, they, they're great. I mean, the bottom line, you hope that you don't have to use them. But when you do have to use them, you know, bang, the switch goes on. You don't do a thing. Whole house is lit up. Air conditioning is going. Heating's going. And, you know, they gas. So the bottom line is that, you know, they go in storms and they stay going for as long as you want. So pretty, pretty cool. And the, uh, the aspect of putting them in, well, particularly we're putting them in new houses. So it's a lot easier than basically redoing a house. There's no doubt about that between the switch and the electric panel. It's all about the switch and electric panel and we're putting them in. 877-927-6648, Dow. Dow Industrials down 141, NASDAQ off 115, S&P's off 30. Stay right there, come right back. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios, for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials down 101. You get the Nasdaq off uh, 101. Look at that. Dow and Nasdaq. And S&P's off uh, 27. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, good, man. We're having a scorcher here today. It's going to be about 90 degrees. Really? Oh. <laughs> That's just crazy. That's it. You guys get a drought that's extraordinary, man. It's pretty. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I mean, it's going on like the 22nd year or something, right? It's like insane. Well, I don't know about the 22nd year, but oh. uh, it's it's pretty dry around the valley here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, I wanted to ask you, uh, um, you know, I, I've been uh, accumulating a little bit here and there of, of uh, Vista Gold. Yes. And... Uh, you know, I just keep wondering. I keep seeing the Australian dollar just keep plummeting. I'm just wondering why is it, nobody's gone in there to buy that uh, the Mount Todd project. Right, or at least have a partnership with it. Right. No, I'm with you. Right. So let's take a look at it. It's Vista Gold, folks, uh, trading at 53 cents. This is an exploration company. You know, we've, we've had our man, Mr. Fred Ernest, on a few times, okay? Um, bottom line is that uh, until they get a partner, um, yeah. you know, there's there's no action, man. You know, and basically just flat until it pops. It is. The, the, pop. At least the, the, the cool thing here, this is like, a, folks, so if you get involved in this, the way you have to look at this, it's a, an option that doesn't expire, which is which is pretty cool. I mean, my take that that's my take on it anyway. OK, is, you know, and what they're looking for is that they're looking for someone to come in and basically partner up with them. And we can see how. Just gold has been trading in general, okay? The, the bottom line is that you're not going to get someone to come in when gold has been hammered. You know, that, that's the reality. You know, so the, the amazing part, you know, when, when you take a look at the market in general, Ben, it always blows my mind. Like, so picture this, folks. This is what happened yesterday. So, or the day before. So it was a three-day rally in junk bonds. And what happened is that companies pushed it out as fast as they could and they got them out. So what, what happens, in, and the reason I'm bringing that up, what happens in general is that until gold starts moving, I can't picture, you know, someone coming saying, okay, I'm going to get a piece of it. I'm going to start putting, you know, the shovel in the dirt because the shovel in the dirt is the highest risk. That's, that's when risk actually takes place. There's not risk right now because of the fact that they still have money they have done all the work you know it's like you and i'd be laying here and say hey you know our backyard is filled 
and we've done the work, and then someone's going to say, yeah, yeah, but you know, are you going to come up with three or four hundred million dollars? That's the reality. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, because I know I know they have a lot of cash on the books, um, and I don't understand why they just don't start mining themselves. It's because got, you might have cash in the books, but you don't have three or four hundred million dollars, and that's what that's what a mine yeah. cost. Yeah, yeah, and it it might take it's it's a much better way that they are actually doing it, meaning when you're not strong enough to do a project, it makes zero sense to start the project. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Because that, that's what it comes down to. They, they need one of these big players in here. Um, and it, everything is going for them except the price of gold and the dollar being higher because of the fact, well, like, see, what you just mentioned, if we take a look at this Australian dollar, the Australian dollar, like in the last 10 years, uh, has gone from one to one to 60 cents. I think it's 60 cents. Let me see. One second. 62, Eight. yeah. It's, yeah. So, you know, what happens there is that, you know, their expenses, will, you know, will be in Australian dollars and um, they, they get paid in U.S. dollars, you know, so that would certainly be going with them. But that being said, I expect that before we actually see a deal, that Australian dollar would be higher because the only way that we're going to see a deal is that if our U.S. dollar goes down, you know what I mean? Because then, then gold will go higher. You there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, I was thinking more in terms of an American company going over there with the currency so low, just get in there and get in, get in a deal. It, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. No, listen, that, 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 can, that can fly. That, that's, there's, there's, there's no doubt. I think we still yeah, need the price of gold to go up. I think we need the price <laughs> of gold to go up. That's the bottom line. Because, no, it, yeah. you know, okay. what we have, the four major gold companies, right? Are lower than the whole rest of the gold sector, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they are, you know. So it's like, okay, it's, you know. One of the tigers brought up the aspect, and there's no doubt, you know, someone was coming into Barrack Gold yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? Let me see this. Um, actually, it was last week. So watch this. When you put the weekly up, you know, uh, one of our tigers picked this up, and there's no doubt. Uh, that's two weeks ago. See that bar right there? Someone was coming in. That's 139 million. You're only going against 100, and it couldn't take it out. But that's that's saying someone's stepping in there, you know. But you know, until the until his action, man, we got to sit here and wait. And that's gonna yeah. be. It's hey, on a, on another note, I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10 minute charts, watching the VIX. The Go ahead. Tick. And uh, you know, just just making 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 a fortune here on the on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Uh, you know, when you, no, <laughs> well, isn't it so great. cool when you use that ten minute chart? It doesn't mean that you're going to make a fortune. I get that. Okay, you're a good trader, but it's folks. The clarity is so big; it's insane. I mean, it just is. It's you know, and what ha what does happen is this: we are we have been in. You know, since the, the Fed stopped, you know, messing in the market, we've definitely been in a time in the trade market, meaning that it's Fibonacci sequence, you got the confluence, you got the price and volume, and, you know, the bottom line is, they, and it's really clear, man. I mean, it's about as clear as you can get. So that's awesome, man. It's, it's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. Let's go to, one second, I got a bunch of questions here. Let me get this next one. Um, okay. So, oh, I know. So the, the question was, um, if, in fact, the dollar gets down to the price point of uh, one, 110, what? Okay, so here. Okay, here it is. If the dollar heads to 110 or 105, what is the effect on uh, big oil and, and big gold stocks? <clears throat> if that happens, what we will see is that all commodities will start moving higher. Yeah, all commodities. That, uh, that's, the, the correlation is, is direct, just like it's totally direct between the correlation of what's happening in the marketplace. And, you know, we've seen squeezes before. And, you know, if this... Dollar. Let's go take a look at the dollar. You know, it, it, my, my take is this dollar is actually going to give it up. And the reason I'm saying that is that because we don't have volume on the dollar. We have volume on everything else. And everything else is operating. I mean, the bonds are operating. They're coming into the low. Contraction is huge. 
not holding price. Gold coming into the lows, not holding, well, it hasn't hit the low yet, but not really holding price either, right? Now, can they go much lower with, you know, light of volume? Yeah, they can, but that only, it only, it doesn't last a long time. It just doesn't. So that's telling me that, you know, inside of these markets somewhere, you're going to have this dollar pull back, and it very well may be an intervention. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. We'll see. That, you know, the yen is almost at 150, man. We're only 11 ticks away from 150. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 154. Nasdaq's up 125. S&P's off uh, 34. Let's go to Big Blue and take a look. Big Blue's going to be coming out with numbers after the close. Let's see what she's looking like out here. So uh, the lows, 114. This is for the past 12 months. The highs 144. They are uh, it's trading 122 right now. They are going to be looking to bring uh 13.5 billion to the top line, a dollar 81 to the bottom line. Look at what a contraction, man. I mean, this is a heavy contract. Look at this. They did 15.5 billion. They plan on doing two billion less in 90 days and then bringing 50, yeah, 50 less cents. And America, they're contracting by almost three percent a year. Look at this, this company, man, this is amazing, actually. In Europe, they're contracting by almost 4%. In Asia, they are contracting by 4%. Okay, so let's see what we have. Okay, what do we got here, man? Okay, so put this on a monthly.
So on a monthly, let's see. Last swing had 119. We did 87. That's good. Okay. Hey, we'll see if they can do something, man. This the, on a monthly, on a monthly, this is not that bad. You know, I mean, the stock is get smoked. I mean, it, you know, they had a high of 206 going into 2013. You know, we get down to 86. That was that was that was COVID. So it's in the COVID bar right now. But that being said, I like I like what you, you see this the month of uh, January of this year it went high with volume, and then July we did it. So let me put this on the daily. They just might be able to get a little traction going. They have a business that's been contracting forever. Yeah, they can get a they, hey this this can get a pop. I'm not looking for something big. 127. You know, Tesla, the Tesla's coming out after the close, too. Now, what's going to be interesting about Tesla is this. OK, so the low on Tesla for the years two for the last 12 months, 204 highs, 414. They are going to be looking revenue wise to do 22.1 billion and bring a dollar to the bottom line. Now, they're growing by uh, four and a half percent in the United States a year. They've grown by 25 percent. The rest of the world they are growing by. 33% a year in China. So we take a look at where they're at. This is no doubt the stock has got hammered. Pull this back. I'll do this on a monthly also. Okay, let me get this closer. Five years. See if I. Okay, so in five years, last swing point had 1.9 billion. And they're coming into it with one billion. That's good. Versus two point eight. Okay. So the way that we actually came down to two oh four, you know, this month, um, that's 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 gonna be a good rejection because there's no way we're gonna do nine hundred and fifty million with uh, approximately eight trading days, nine trading days left. So on, on this, this looks like it might get a little pop. And let's see on the daily. Well, the daily looks terrible. <laughs> I suspect we're still going to get a pop, though. That's the bottom line. That monthly is a clean monthly. So th this could pop to probably 241. What's going to be interesting with the so that's technically, fundamentally what you have, folks, is this on Tesla. So on the last earnings call, right, what had happened is that they claimed, and, you know, I take, you know, anything that is close to Elon Musk with a, not even a grain of salt, okay, because... He's just taking so many people to the cleaners. Um, that being said, though, on earnings calls, when you're talking about, um, you know, fraud, if you're lying, I, I don't think they're lying. And what they were explaining was that the they had more sales and they were tied up in transit. So we'll find out if, in fact, they had tied up in transit, because what would end up happening is that those sales would come in on this quarter. That's that's you know that's how it's supposed to shake out. So we'll see. In fact, uh, if in fact they can get that, yeah, we'll see if <laughs> if one call matches up with uh, today's numbers. Let's go take a look at Nike for one of the tigers out here. So we get Nike, another equity that's got hammered. The lows 82, the highs 179. Now they're not coming out with numbers, but this tiger happens to like how if Nike trades higher, market wants to go higher, and you know, the way this is trading right now, here, well, first off, I gotta, we got to go all the way back. You're going to see Nike. This is, this is what's dangerous for the whole market. Nike definitely got right into the bar. The low of the bar of, you know, COVID is 60. The high is 894. Now, you're at 88. Now, watch what this did. Oh, hold it, man. No, this is, oh, my God. This is an ABC down. Man. This better than get negated. <laughs> Look at this. This is this is a yeah, this is an ABC down. 139. Okay, so it's a 40 point A to B. Okay, so that gets you oh, that gets you 80 bucks. Where'd it get to? 82 bucks. Okay, hold on. Uh, it did an ABC down. Uh, so this is a monthly. If you do it, it was 80, it went to 82. So let's call it that okay, we did it. That being said, what we did also is this. We got to 82.50 in the monthly. It already tested that with 82.22. So that pod's done, okay? Now let's go into a daily. If we take a look at a daily one, 
what you, you know, this is, to me is building cars for a higher price. That's how this works, okay? The bottom line is that you can see yesterday you're up with 7.3 million, today you're down with 3.4. The 3.4 is going into 11.9. The high of the 11.9 is 88.25. You went to 87.76 and you're rejecting the 88.25. So that's telling me that that is building cars for higher price, you know? So, you know, we want, we, trust me, you want Nike off that, off that low. Because the, the reality, well, listen, the, the, what the market may be seeing with Nike, which is really going to be wild if that's the case, is the aspect that, you know, um, things are going to get worse with China. And they're going to have to stop moving, um, you know, just many, many more of their factories. That's, that's the bottom line. So we'll see how that shakes out. The thing that's amazing is that, you know, I remember when China opened up in 78, um, I think it was 78 or 88. No, 78. It was 78. Um, and, you know, bottom line, the manufacturer goes, goes, goes. And when that was happening, um, that's when I was actually in the, the travel business and the bankrupt bond business. And what had happened, because the Boston area, folks, was so huge in the shoe business, right? Um, you know, I had a huge amount of business going all the way up to Nashua there's and what happens is you get the rivers and you know years ago bottom line is that all the shoe companies would be beside the river they're throwing all the poison into the river and you know forget that part of it but the bottom line is that they were all moving from New England and they were all moving overseas and um those executives were always flying overseas. I got to learn a huge amount about the uh, shoe business. And the uh, mind blower, <laughs> I remember the first time, I think we, we moved most of them to Korea first, South Korea. Yeah, that's what was going on first. It was, South, it was South Korea actually first. Because I remember being over there, and what happens is that in South Korea, they, at that point, you know, and things are always different. You know, it, when you go back in history, anyway, things are always, things keep getting more organized. But what was going on is that during the daytime, they'd be working for Nike and Reebok and New Balance. And then at nighttime, they'd be firing them up, man. And, you know, the counterfeit goods, they were huge, man. I mean, there was so many counterfeit goods and, you know, they were real, the real deal, but they were counterfeit goods. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios, for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 143. You get the Nasdaq off 122. S&Ps are off 34. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Jim, what's going on? It's a great day in Tampa Bay. That's a beautiful, it is a great day, isn't it? Oh my God, folks, it's like 73 out or maybe 67 out. It's like insane. It's beautiful. We yeah. got a cold, cold, we got our cold snap to start, start the fall season. Um, I'm asking about TBT and TLT because I'm running 15 year charts now weekly and I'm, I'm looking at my TBT, which I keep selling out of the money calls that are now becoming in the money all the time, and I keep rolling and covering, and, and they expire worthless. Now I'm I'm short TBT thirty seven calls against my long position. Okay. And do you see resistance right here? Well, we're I'm gonna start with the TLT. All right, so the TLT is at ninety six, and you know you're gonna you're gonna get one second, huh? I'm looking all the way back to 2010, and I see 87.3 as a low for the TLT. And I, I, th I really thought that 98 was going to hold on the TLT, and it just blew right by that. Well, I see 88 to 14. That's, that's in 2011, right? Um, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, you're, you're coming up to the point, um, you know, that you're going to get well, he, <laughs> if you if you called me maybe two weeks ago, I'd tell you the same thing that, hey, you know, I mean, this this you know, TBT has run from twenty three dollars, you know, to thirty five nonstop, you know. Right. And it makes it makes you it just you look at these angles and and um, it, it, it can't go on forever. But then you're just looking at the yields just creeping and creeping and creeping and. Um, I mean, we're talking what 4.5 already on a on a two year, if not higher. That's correct. And I just we could if if the Fed in fact raises even 50 or 75 at some point in time, it'll be a shock. I think maybe on that Fed announcement day, I might I might actually be putting sell stops in real close because the long end the long end may pull back. The the problem that you'd have with that, see, I mean, I. <sighs> You know, you've done really well. I'd start taking some bread, Ben. The problem that you'd have, what you just said, is that stops are going to get taken out, and they're going to be way below where you have a stop if it happens, right. because it's not going to, it's going to happen off market. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When there's intervention, yeah, or the, that announcement could could come on a Friday night. It could come overseas starting on Sunday night, and uh, it will if something happens. It will. It will. You know, you just got to you just you just keep your you know keep your Risk lower. I'd keep my risk lower right now, okay? Um, but, you know, let me let me pull this up again because, remember, we did this before. I want to just see that I'm going to take the 10-year and put it in a generic chart because what happens is that this thing was gunning for something. I just wanted to see where it was. I think we're, I think we're at it myself. I think it was 110 that I was talking about. So... It's 115. 
Uh, it's, one of, it's actually 104. Yeah, it's got, it's got, it has longer to go, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I think you, you might as well stay right there, I guess. You, you see the shot I have up right now? That's, you know, the next swing point for the 10 years, 10404. And we're at 110. Okay. And that sounds like a lot. But guess what? We've already gone down uh, three points in 25 days. So... You know. Yeah, I, and again, like the TBT is up 3.7% already today. So when it was $15 a share, it was, you know, it was $30. But now you're talking about 3%. You're talking a dollar, dollar, dollar 25 a share every every morning. And it's it just been. Okay. It's just it's, been, I'm uh, so glad released. you just brought I this I counted, up. Okay. Um, let, let me ask you something. Uh, nine out of 10 were red. Okay. Have you traded the doubles and the triples before? Yes. Okay, yes. so you understand, now you just brought up the example, okay, that as you get into higher price, the expansion's getting bigger, right? Right. Okay. But, but, the, but the correlation is, is all, it's almost 100%, where TLT is down 1.8 and TBT is plus 3.7. But you know why that is, right? Because you're on a trend. My, my, point, my point is this. When you get to a higher price like this, right, on the TBT, this TBT could open up $7 down in a heartbeat. Okay. Have you seen that before? Not, not on the TBT. I mean, I, I saw back, we had a, some consolidation around 30 and 31, and I saw, you know, they, they brought it down a point and a half. Okay. But then, then, it, but you, then you, the T-Bone sold off. What? It, you, you should be taking some money because what, what I'm hearing here, I, I've traded all of these a lot, right? So what happens is this. I stop trading them when they get to higher price. Okay. Because what ends up happening, okay, is that you, the, the TBT, okay, is 200%. And when you take a hit on the other side because it's a hit of a higher number, right, the number is very large and you'll be in shock, you know? Right. That's that's how that goes. Because when you, when you would bring the example up, you know that okay, now it's moving a point and a half every day. The difference is if it takes a hit, seven points is going to be nothing for that thing to go down and to well, open down. The one, the one advantage it does have weekly options. Yeah, no, no. Listen, so man, you, you're doing the right yeah, thing. So you I'm, can, I'm just, I can write an in the money to protect. I can I can get five points on a thirty-one. Yeah, no. Listen, man, call. the the options on the leveraged product really work well particularly when you're selling them okay that's the right. bottom that's the bottom line because what ends up happening folks is that they're all going to be lower if you understand how the you know the math goes behind them the bull and the bear they're all going to be lower just a matter of when because you know you go up you go down you get in a sideways market now you haven't been in a sideways market with this and that's what's really you know brought your profits up you know probably tremendously okay but the bottom line is that you know we're not going to be going to, you know, inter, inter, the interest rate structure. Listen, we have the Fed, the Fed, the next two meetings, you know, I think 75 basis points in November, maybe December, we do 50. You know, they're going to have a hard time in clamping down inflation. If they think they're going to get it to 2%, I think they better go see the doctor, man, because that it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in, not in, not in a, not in less than a year. That's correct. Right. There's no. Not in less than yeah, a year. No, no right. way. But thanks for the input because uh, we still have some room. Then when we're both looking at the TNX and we're looking at the charts the same way, then. Yeah, totally, man. Have a great one. Have thanks. a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials. Uh, yeah. So inflation in general, folks. Okay. Um, you know, we're in it, um, and. You don't get out of inflation fast. I suspect this is going to take three, four, five years. This, and you are going to see um, some destruction out here. They're going to see some destruction with companies when they're trying to refinance and it's exponentially higher. We're going to see some individual, you know, companies having a problem. We're going to see all of us personally are going to see a stretch on the amount of money that we spend and the amount of money that we invest. It's, it's there. It's just, you know, interest rates run everything. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials is down 124, NASDAQ's off 114, S&P's off 32. And if we go back to these uh, ETF structures and the indices in general, just to see how these volumes are taking place, and they're light volume, man. That's the bottom line. So SPY, you're lower with 66 million. You went higher yesterday with 97, and you're coming into uh, 123. So the SPY, that's good. The spy's over the benchmark there of 367.51. Now, let's see if the Q's are, because the Q's, we know, are the weakest indice. And if this can be over it, that's going to be kind of decent. Oh, look at this by a penny. <laughs> two, two, oh, there it goes. Now it's under 10. It's 270.17. That's the number. And right now we're 270.08. And, you know, what will move the money, so picture, the IBM will move the Dow, and Tesla, uh, bottom line, you know, can basically, you know, I don't know if it's going to move, it'll move the NASDAQ, okay? I don't know if it's going to move everything else, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if it can, you know, hold these bottoms. These, you know, if, we, if you don't hold this 206, you know, last low that we had was 204. That was uh, uh, last Thursday. They rejected 204. Did it reject it? No, it didn't. It closed at that number, and then it came one higher again. You know, the way this is looking to me, though, this is looking to me like it's going to try to basically get into somewhere about 242 or something. You know, you get, let me see what this sets up. So if we take it this way, yeah, 0.382 is 246. So, 
and that's the gap that's higher. And, you know, gaps that are higher don't have to get filled. But the bottom line is that because we did the monthly on that, we went back to the March deal, I suspect that's going to be higher, too. We're going to know. If the Tesla comes out right after the close, and uh, I, hopefully I'll have that uh, on the 4 o'clock update. Always remember, folks, the bank and Gloria hot out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.